Time now for sports with Casey Conlon. Montana is one big small town. It's not uncommon to see cousins going against cousins in state championship games. But this past year's State A Boys title game featured something the Treasure State had never seen. Brother against brother. And the result was an instant classic. Here's MTN's Brandon Sullivan. As a storyteller, covering state tournaments is always a challenge. At the outset, the story seems simple. The thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. But sometimes the story becomes about something more than just winning and losing. Something bigger than just basketball. Billing Central came into the Class A tournament with heavy hearts and a purpose. Chloe Lai, a fourth grader at St. Francis, had passed away earlier in the week. The Rams were dedicating their tournament to her. To honor Chloe, you know, we put her initials with a cross on her shoe. And we went to her classroom and gave him some posters, signed them, you know, just saying, we're gonna be here with you throughout the tournament, you know, and we did what we could to help ease the pain in that school. Central had played and lost in the championship game the previous two seasons. This tournament, they would win their first and second round games easily, putting them back in the title game for a third straight year. Harden, on the other hand, was trying to get back to the title game for the first time since 1997. And they were determined, cruising into the championship game. The storyline was seemingly set, two of Class A's best teams playing for the title in front of a capacity crowd. But there was something else, something that would resonate long after the final buzzer. For the first time in Montana high school history, two brothers would line up opposite of each other in a state championship game. Older brother Jay for Central, and Trey a sophomore for Harden. What are the odds of brothers on two different teams meeting at the title game? I mean, that's, I should have went and bought a lottery ticket, you know. Central head coach Jim Sturgar understood the moment. He made arrangements for the brothers to be introduced last. Brian Michelotti was the guy in charge and right away I just texted Brian and I just said, we need to do this. We need to get these two lined up with each other and, and if we can get them last, I think it would be really a special moment for that family and uh, for each one of those boys. I mean, I thought it was a lot of hype with them just playing in the regular season. I, I mean, you can only imagine how much more bigger the hype got when we both made it to the state uh, championship game and having them there and it was just, Unreal. I remember him saying, no matter what, no matter what happens after this game, uh, I will still love you. You know, when I gave him a hug, I told him, I said, no matter what happens tonight, I said, I'm really proud of you. I said, you make me so proud, and I'm so proud to be your brother, and I'll, I'll always love you. And so I just, and he, I mean, being Trey, he's like, okay, yep, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was pretty tough seeing him on the other side, lining up against us. Their father, an assistant coach for Harden, was overwhelmed by the moment and by the words of his oldest son as he embraced his father before the game. He just said, uh, no matter what the outcome was, Dad, I really love you. Thank you for everything and being there for me. And, and I'm proud to call you my dad. And we put in a lot of work. And he just said, I love you with all my heart. It's just a, a great story for everybody involved and even for the people who we just get to watch. As expected, the game was hard fought. And in the end, Harden would be victorious, winning their first school championship in 21 years. The impact of that night and what it meant to not just his family, but the community of Harden was not lost on Jay. You know, it would have been nice that we won, but you know, just the way the things ended, it was, you know, it was for a reason. And obviously, I mean, there's something behind that reason. I'll forever be grateful for that, you know, and it's just, Words can't explain how awesome it was. 
It brought the competitive nature of, of Central and Harden uh, together as respectful competition. After everybody was cleared out of the gym, me, Trey, and Jay, we all hugged in the hallways. I told them that I was proud of them. I said, no matter what, you guys are brothers. We are all family, we are all one, and we all stick together. Brandon Sullivan, MTN News. A story neither community will soon forget. Thank you to Brandon. That brings us to number one tonight, Elite again. Join us for it at 10.